Hello YouTube. Those of you that know me know that I'm a big fan of Fluke and Bremen. More black Bremen than Fluke, but um, I do have some Fluke meters for um, basic simple electrical work such as this Fluke 113 True RMS meter. Makes uh, on-site on, on electrical work a lot simpler, but uh, guess what I managed to land my hands on? It is a Fluke 117. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how both this Fluke 113 and the 117 stack up against uh, some of the higher end meters and uh, do some reviews on them. Let's get straight into this new episode on the review of the Fluke 113 True RMS Multimeter and watch out for the next episode which will be the Fluke 117 review. Let's get into the 113. On to first impressions, the Fluke 113 is an electrical multimeter, not so much an electronics multimeter but it can be used for basic electronics testing as well. It has a few advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the one thing you'll notice straight away is it does not have a third uh, input uh, which would be for your amps. This one is purely uh, resistance, capacitance, diode, continuity, volts AC and DC. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the spec of the meter and uh, we'll talk about the usability of it and how useful it actually is. Some information about this Fluke uh, 113 meter from the Fluke website. It calls this the true RMS digital multimeters designed for basic electrical tests or the Fluke 113 utility multimeter. So the Fluke 113 digital multimeters gives users the means to quickly and easily do basic meter set and reconnect testing. This meter is simple to use and has the features needed to repair most electrical problems. The Fluke 113 has significant improvements over other digital multimeters available on the market, including the Fluke Model 7600 using the Fluke VCheck Low Z Low Impedance Measurement Function. Users can simultaneously test for voltage or continuity. The Min Max function allows you to record signal fluctuations. The Fluke 113 can perform diode tests and also provides both auto and manual ranging capabilities. With features such as conformance to the latest safety standards, backlight, and a much larger display that's easier to view, this meter is seen as a must for every toolbox. So basically what they're trying to say is this meter is aimed at the electrical market or the electrician. Um, the reason for that is it doesn't have very many current sensing and most electricians will be using a clamp meter um, such as the Bremen TBM 3030 or uh, Fluke uh, 336 or something like that for doing current measurements uh, in a mains environment. Whereas for voltage testing and continuity testing, this would be the go-to. Uh, this meter could also probably be recommended for HVAC guys. Uh, the only thing that's missing is a temperature uh, sensor or temperature mode. But it does do diode for checking power diodes, continuity, volts AC, volts DC ohms and it can check the capacitors like startup capacitors on motors etc. Single phase motors use startup and run capacitors so that could be quite handy for the HVAC guys and, and the like. So according to the specs this meter does volts AC and DC so what we're first going to do is we're going to throw some DC voltage at it and some mains voltage at it and see what sort of displays we get. Uh, let's actually uh, take it across to the other bench and uh, see how it stacks up. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch this onto the universal checking mode, which is completely auto detecting. I'm going to power on our power supply. We're using the display on this side over here. So, all we're going to do is we're just going to check relatively how accurate this meter is when it comes to DC voltages. Um, I'm not going to do any comparisons with other meters. As you can see straight away, it knows it's detecting a voltage of 391 millivolts or 0 0.3 there it is up there on the power supply so as we start running up the voltages we can see our voltage measurement um, in comparison with the power supply it's got a nice little bar graph this is a 6000 count so from there it will drop down to two places and then you get a relatively accurate display right through the range uh, let's head it up to about 30 volts you see what we get 31.7 we're showing 31.5, so yeah, that's good enough for all intents and purposes. Like I say, this is an electrician meter. Um, but now, without having to change mode, what makes this so interesting is by disconnecting, the unit goes back into an auto mode. So now if I am to short out, it will automatically switch to continuity test. 
If I measure um, a diode, it'll automatically switch to diode test. Uh, if I measure AC voltage, without even changing anything, I'm going to go ahead and do some AC voltage measurements over here on a 230 volt line signal. doesn't work so well so I'm just going to do it on another point over here another point of reference which hopefully will let me do it and there you've got your 227.8 volts uh, AC so yeah that's pretty cool um, for doing sort of general testing and like I said it has a resistance and a capacitance mode as well I'm not going to get too much into that because we all know what that's for the min max we kind of know you can manually range this meter um, yeah, really, there's not a lot to it. The meter is CAT3 600 volts or CAT4 300 volts rated, so it is good enough for use in a electronics or electrical sort of uh, industry. Um, now, let's just talk about the construction of this meter and the leads that it comes with, etc., and see if it's actually worth the, the sort of money that it retails for. Okay, the meter itself comes with these um, fluke. Uh, high quality sort of test leads. Um, they are silicon, 1000 volts CAT3 or 600 volts CAT4 rated, and they do have these little pull off protection uh, sort of insulators so you can work quite nicely with live circuitry without worrying too much. Um, like I say, the meter construction is quite good. Uh, the silicone leads is fantastic that comes with this meter. Uh, nothing to complain about there. Pretty much the same sort of leads you get with any other decent fluke meters. Um, the button is nice and positive. It, it, it feels solid like it's going to last. And um, just let's have a look at the backlight on this guy. I'm turning off the down lighting. Let's turn on the backlight. Yeah, the backlight works. It's a bit dim but it'll get the job done in low light environments. Um, so yeah, like I said before, um, nice for your HVAC sort of technicians to make use of. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. It runs off a 9 volt battery, uh, one battery, and it does come with the integral uh, lead clips. Um, it is a low impedance voltage selector uh, or voltage measurement meter. It comes with a section here for doing the magnetic clip, etc. It's pretty much all you would need if you're an electrician. I wouldn't recommend necessarily going out and buying one of those complicated meters when this one, for all intents and purposes, you switch it on and you get the job done. Yep, I think that's it for the Fluke 113. Hey guys, so yeah, we've got the Fluke 113 in our DB box. Um, don't try this at home. Uh, I'm not using any PPE or anything at the moment, but I do understand the risk that I take for that and therefore. Uh, I don't mind doing what I'm doing. So pretty much I'm going to do some live measurements um, using simple testing uh, from neutral bus to phase. So we'll go phase, neutral. Right, so we're going to go phase, neutral. It detects it. There we go. 230.2 volts on the red phase yellow phase we got 239 volts blue phase we've got 230.9 volts so that's neutral bar to phase uh, as you can see the meter handles that quite nicely now what we're going to do is we're going to go phase to phase and as you can see here we have 405 volts 408 volts and 398.6 volts. So that gives you a very good idea of how the meter automatically decides what sort of voltage you're measuring. So we're going to do that again. We're going to come back here to the live. There we go. 230.3, 239.6. Two hundred and thirty point four. 
and as you can see the most potential powered circuit would be the red phase and as for working in a bit of a darkened environment the backlight definitely does help so yep there we have the end of the review of the Fluke 113 multimeter so in conclusion the Fluke 113 is the meter that I use a lot in the field I like the simplicity of the all-in-one check mode where it gives your voltage continuity diode um, everything all sort of in one range uh, which is really brilliant um, it's nice to hold easy to operate with one hand just using your thumb uh, pretty much the same as the fluke 177 that I that I own um, the only difference being that this one is a little bit less full featured than the 117 so thanks for watching guys and until next time take care